is Lydia Ko playing alongside Jason Day. 11 major champions in the field, only two playing together, and that's Ko and Day. We've seen some really good bunker shots from similar spots in the bunker there, and here's another one. I mean, it's not that easy, right? It, well, for Lydia it is. <laughs> Everything's she, easy around the green for her. Yeah, she's an absolute magician. 14, Lydia Ko, this for Eagle. Jason Day's putts already slid by on the low side. He's trying to be aggressive with that, take some of the break out. Check in with Jason Day and Lydia Ko, this at the 15th for birdie. Yeah, just strips that one in the front edge there, Tom, quite nice. Let's Lydia off the hook. You'd uh, bet Lydia to make it, though. Had a little joke with Lydia just a while ago, saying that she's not exactly being team friendly with the all black outfit that she's wearing there. All black being traditional New Zealand colors and Jason Day being ah, Australian. Yes. Yeah, the miss well right. 17th Jason Day is second. That's from 203, does have a slight down slope to deal with. A little helping wind. He set up way open to that. Looked like it started way left. Karen got it to fade back. Wow. Yep, taking some distance of it with that fade. Yeah, good spot there for the eagle. I think it's a very good pairing for both of them. Both. There you go. Have quite a good short game, the pair of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrific. Eagle there. Day on the way at 18. This from 149, and this looks very good. Sensational. Up to the green, Jason Day to finish up. No, I think people have been leaving it high, but no problem for Jason. Been fun watching those two on the greens. Second at the 11th for Lydia Ko. Yeah, very good. Saw the approach from Lydia Ko. Now let's see if Jason Day can knock it in. Get to 16 under. Challenging towards the top of the leaderboard. A couple of major champions, the only pair in the field, both with major championship titles to their credit. Lydia Ko at the 13th tee moved up, drivable par four. Yeah, good touch. Always good around the greens. Jason Day to convert the birdie. We saw Lydia's chip. Yeah, gets those two to 17 under par. Three under for the day. Lydia Ko, this at 14 and third from the bunker. Yes, and Lydia's awesome from, from the bunker, and Jason Day has probably got a whole ton of confidence in Lydia from here, and quite rightly so too, because this is beautiful. Just an absolute magician. And Jason Day, after the bunker play from Lydia Ko, this to share. What you think of the numbers on day one with the scramble, 16 under leading the way, pretty good play. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting scores to be anywhere between 10 and 14 under. Lydia Ko, T at 16. We're going to see another one? I I'm mm -hmm. not going to count it out. Well, this is a seven iron on the way. A little bit into. It's on a good line. Look at these shots. I know, I know the whole location is accessible still. And Jason Day has this look and a birdie putt. Yeah, there you go. So they've really made a move today. Get it to 19 under, share the lead as we send it over to Amy. The 17th tee and our top tracer technology here for Jason Day. A little bit back into the wind here, Tom, at the moment for these players. There's the trouble down the left and you can run out of room down the right at about 228 from their tee. That was just fine. They send it over those uh, trees on the corner on the left into the fairway. Gripping down the club as she usually does, but maybe just a hair more even because of that lie. Yeah, she actually recently started working with Siwoo Lee, Jin Young Ko's coach. This looks pretty good, Morgan. 
One of the things they're working on is trying to stay more on top of the ball. She was practicing with a drill on the driving range before the round today. Beautiful shot there. Full approach to the game and that intensity with each and every shot. They are remarkably similar, I would say. Begging for it to sit, but it was really good pace. The best score on the golf course right now. This one doesn't have very much in it. You can see her making all those little adjustments. Second at 10 for Jason Day, Karen. Well, he's got just a little bit of an upslope here. Not too much to, to worry about. The wind's a bit off the left, so there's a smidge of hurt in this from here. But I think he's going to hit this one a little bit lower with some check to it. You know, he was talking about what he learned playing with Lydia Ko this week. He said, oh, right away, the wedges. Not too tricky. So Henderson did tap in for birdie. They're at 23 under. This to get it there. From below the hole, with maybe just a hint of movement left. Yep. So two teams at 23 under par. Having made the turn, playing the back nine here on the final day. Tia 12, Lydia Ko. Lydia's more than capable of fitting a little fade into this right hole location. Yeah, Karen, she's set up on the right side of the tee, trying to do just that. He's trying to move to the right. Yeah, yeah that's Hold a on. smart play. Avoid the downslope of the bunker that caught Nelly there, and good distance control. <laughs> yeah, it's just about the last five feet, Karen. Picks up a touch of speed. Hey, liked it. You knew. Just did. Stay there. So they keep pace. Get it to 24 under par. You wonder how low you have to go to win this thing today. Jason Day. This is the tee shot that really you've got to try and take advantage of. Put it down there to give your partner a chance to potentially get on this green. Some run here in the fairway too. Yep, well positioned. So, so he's going for a bigger fade. That's kind of right where he was set up. Just didn't quite get the movement to the right that he wanted, but that's not a bad leave. Kind of took a little bobble too off that fringe. Yeah, all in all, not bad. You can kind of feel just a little bit of tension in the air, kind of starting. That really solid putt. I love the amount of time that he spends looking at the hole. Really dial it in. We go to the key at 17, Tom. Yeah, this is the one here. This is the hole where they can win it, I think. And uh, Jason Day is going to send it over the left trees. Well, I think, Tom, you're, you're absolutely right. This is, the, this is the time right here. You've got 3.28 to run through the fairway on the right into the travel. I don't think that's really a necessary a worry for these players today, back into this wind. Has the wind picked up, Karen, or is it just more exposed right here? It's just quite exposed here, and particularly on that tee box. But when you get out to the fairway, you're going to be sheltered a little bit again, and then as you approach the green, you're going to start being hit by some more wind. But in general, it's been quite blustery all day. Yeah, we've been lucky though. At the beginning of the week, the forecast was pretty poor today, and uh, the rain may be coming a little later, but glad to get it all done. He's happy with that. Up down the left, move it into the middle of the fairway, and that's really good. Now, Lydia. Uh, Lydia's got to come up something with this fairway wood. I remember watching her when she was just a 13 year old, and she was hitting a high vision of kind of fairway woods in really tight. Closer than I was hitting nine hours and eight hours. <laughs> so we could fully expect this one to be fairly good. Yeah. I think her swing looks better than we've seen it in a long time. It looks a lot cleaner, less manufactured. Looks like she's thinking less. 
covering the ball really nicely. Is so nice. This is on the left half of the green with a little fade. Oh, oh. what about that? Is she any good? Oh, Lydia Ko, vintage oh, Lydia Ko. You have to feel like that. That could be the shot. Two putt birdie, and that moves the team to 26 under par. So now a par at the last, and they will be the champions. Now they're on the tee at the last, up by one. This is a very exposed tee shot today with this wind direction. Off the left and hurting. Lots of room to the right, though. Yeah, that's beautiful. So they just need a par here. Lydia from 182. Another hybrid here for her. Let's see what she can do with this one after the the previous holes clinic that she put on. Similar direction into this wind, similar yep. type of shot. I'd expect her to hit here. Yeah. Yep, little low fade. She's pretty good with those clubs, you know. She needs to hit this. Uh, almost. going to be enough. And now the formality. There it is. Par at the last. Lydia Ko, Jason Day. They win the first Grant Thornton Invitational. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.